I haven't played with Kinnon yet. Could draft Twin. The way my draft's been going, I kind of want to take this Bone Crusher Giant. <laughs> Just keep leaning into Boros. The chests are considered currency, yeah. They're worth, like, um, they're worth a few ticks. I don't want to take Library again, but you could take Bolt. Related to Traxa. Traxa is one of those cards, <clears throat> one of those premium reanimation cards. And Library is good in reanimator. This one Crusher Giant doesn't mean anything. Corpse Dance, Duress, Halfling. I suppose. There's that Zerta going around again. Future Nymph versus Chain Lightning. Or maybe Jace. Maybe Jace was the pickup. I think Jace was the pickup. I think that was a mispick. Still waking up here. Jace is just another one that's good in Reanimator, you know? A lot of control over your discards. Hey, good morning, not the wallet inspector. Would have been much enough for breakfast. My, uh, <clears throat> my buddy that's staying with me made some bow ties last night or early this morning. So they were just in the fridge and I could just heat them up, go live. Fucking ruled. Tasty. Looking at DRC, looking at, uh, God, I don't know. How embarrassing is Bitter Blossom? Is that a card I want? Is Raptor a card I want? World Spine Worm, not a good reanimation target. I played Flash once. Hated it. Wouldn't be bad with the tracks, huh? Hey, huh? Bolt Birdie Official, how's it going? You smell stinky jiggy? Oh no, sorry, that was me. It's a little gassy. <clears throat> oh man, going to a show tonight? It's gonna be a good time. Gassy from all them trophies, you know it. Wild Run is the band I'm excited about, Militank. I played it on stream before, but it's been it's been a minute, it's been a long time. Gajir plus Mastodon. Not planning on catching that tour, Ablack. Would have taken a little bit of travel. Three bands, though. Was I secretly Boros this whole time? Maybe. Maybe. Is for the Reach is an option, hum. Not the pack I was hoping for. Nice cranked. Yeah, I've seen Mastodon three times now. And uh, I enjoyed them every time. I've seen Gajir three times, too. One of the reasons I'm not, like, dropping everything to, like, make sure that I catch the... Um, hey, there's that monolith. One reason I'm not dropping everything to make sure I catch that tour is that I've seen them both multiple times, and uh, recently, too. Gojira came through Madison uh, last year, I think it was, or maybe the year before. Great show, as always. And I've got a lot of other shows I'm going to around now. I bummer to pass the One Ring and Faithless Looting, but... Your monolith and Zerda is just really paying off for me today. Or this season, I should say. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Dan's man. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 32 months. So, Zealous and Kiki is a thing. I think I want this talisman, but that's definitely a thing. I think I'm taking Vista here. You're going to QCon all the way from San Fran. That's so far. I think you'll have a great time, though. There's people that are coming over from Europe, so... Shallowgrave, Portal, and Chandra. All exciting here. The thing about Portal is it's a payoff for the Zerda infinite mana thing. Which I kind of like. Speaking of. Yeah, Ulamog's sweet because it's also a through the breach. Yeah, Basalt Monolith is just like another way to go infinite with, um, with Monolith. Or with Zerda, rather. So that's nice. Yeah, World Hates Palm. Uh, possible, but not super likely. The only events that I play with consistency are the um, the pre-modern tournaments that happen at Misty Mountain. They have one of those every every few months. 
But I don't even make it to the testing nights. Always streaming. Just setting expectations. <laughs> nice. I really wanted that faithless looting. Talismans versus Signets. I've been liking it overall. Well, I guess Red's just stupid open hum. I'm going to take the sneak attack, but fourth would be pretty sweet. Was there it, um, it will. Maybe it'll wheel. Who knows? Boros cards in pack three. The, the Boros lands were going pretty late. A Mox. I'm into it. I'm going to grab this Ballista. Ballista is a real nice mana sink. And it's also like just a good card. Remember that we have multiple ways of going infinite with Zerta here. Twin does work with Conscripts, but also who gives a shit? Like, I wouldn't mind cutting these cards. Looking at this Talisman, looking at the Retrofitter. Retrofitter is another mana sink for infinite mana. Also just a good card. Retrofitter and Zerta just play well together, even if you don't have infinite mana. That's a nice pickup. We're getting so much fast mana here. Wild deck, yeah, pretty wild. Almost a Moxable deck, huh? I dig this Welder, even though our only real payoff is this Portal. I dig this Bitter Reunion too, though. I think we'll want the Bitter Reunion. I'm thinking about splashing the balance, but uh, but this Talisman helps the Corpse Dance splash that I already have going on. Yeah, I think I'll dig it. The issue with Dark Depths as a mana sink is that it's not very good if you don't have infinite mana. It's pretty garbage otherwise. So the cool thing about Retrofitter Foundry and Walking Ballistas, those are also just good cards. If you don't draw the Zerta. Sounds like I just woke up. Yeah. yeah that's accurate. Looking at Blood Crypt. Looking at Braid too. We won earlier by abrading an infinite Hangerback Walker and then giving it haste with Bitter. Worth thinking about. Yeah, I think we don't need the portal anymore. <clears throat> Though it might just be castable. Grim Monolith, Assault Monolith. Just cast the damn thing. Not sure about Wheel of Fortune. Cosmos. I think Shieldbreaker's got to be a sideboard card here. Is Wheel of Fortune the last cut? I don't think Wheel's bad here. How do y'all feel about Wheel of Fortune? Is it better than these other cards? Chain Lightning, maybe. I like Bone Shards. It's creatures and walkers. It's a discard outlet for Corpse Stance. Wheel of Fortune's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Might help me put, it, put a combo together. Might help the opponent, too. We have the fast mana for it, right? We have Mana Vault and Mox Emerald. It's probably good. How many discard outlets do I have without Bone Shards? Looting it better. Armancer, sorta. I say sorta, because six mana is starting to get a, like, kind of a lot for Corpse Dance. I could cut Chandra. Cards is good, though. What are we missing to Companion Zerta? We'd have to cut these two. Means we're already also cutting these two. And this one. I have a lot, hum. I need four more playables. It's like Char. Yeah, this doesn't work. Hmm. Oh, it trophied Sprinkles. It trophied. And today I'm still on my Zerta shit. We turned three to Nugan last, um, in the finals with the Zerta combo. Used the, um, Enlightened Tutor to get the Monolith again. <laughs> Someone was questioning it. Someone was questioning the Enlightened Tutor. So this is 12 red and 5 black. Now it's 14 red. I dig it. All right, where's that Wheel of Fortune? Pretty rare that I keep a hand that's all mana, but this is like a lot of mana. Like we top deck Inferno Titan, we can turn to it. 
They have some good draw spells, right? Draw and Filter, Faithless Looting, Wheel of Fortune, Season Pyromancer, Bitter Reunion, Chandra. And the next got some nice mana uh, sinks, right? Retrofitter. That'd be these two. Trophy Shark. This starts making me think that the portal to Phyrexia should just be in the main. Naturally. Hopefully this Ragavan hits some lands, huh? No, my Zerda! God damn it. Well, I didn't have to draw that shit. Takes the first from the top, Toxic. Hi, Raven. It'll land there. Hell yeah, Fluffy. Oh, shoot, what up? <clears throat> hey, Scooby Doobies. I feel like this is kind of a bummer with them having a fast spawn, but I should be waiting a turn. All this fucking removal. Oh, I should have drawn a card. That's why I left the library untapped. So draw a card. And then I'm like, derp, derp, casting cards now. Well, they got a thing. Hmm. That's bad for me, hum. Good news, we're at 26 life. I'm going to super lose this game because I didn't draw with library. This is what's going to happen here. Because I could just have this going for the rest of the game. Could be like another three or four cards. What a spew. It's just a practice. Yeah, just a warm up. But Caleb, didn't you already play your warm up match? Ah, this is the second warm up, warm up, bonus warm up. It's actually kind of a hard one to win in terms of our remaining win cons. With the Zerta gone, my infinite mana stuff is just not a not a real win con, you know? Blister would still be a hot rip here. Get some stuff, get some value. Fucking Ragavan's done way too much work. Is this really only in the turn four? It must be. It feels like this game is like last in eternity. I guess they've only exiled like three things with Ragavan. They played at turn one, so this is the top of the graveyard. I guess I could have snuck this. I don't think I want to exile cards with only 13 cards left. I don't think I want a down tick. Maybe I do want a down tick. Too bad I don't have a black up with the bone shard, Tom. Kill its fairy here. Its fairy's gonna bounce the token. My life gets hard. I'm taking for mana. I can't even untap Grim Monolith or whatever. A lot of removal in their graveyard. We're bouncing Season Pyromancer. It's the sort of shit I do before I like play a draw seven effect. Yeah, so our Atrex is stranded, and the Through the Breach and the Corpse Dance were other ways of getting it out. Singing PZ. Yeah, we could have done that. I uh, don't really like the idea of losing the Bone Shards. I'm gonna lose to this fucking Ragavan mill. God damn it. Mmm, that would have been so good here. That one's also good here. This colonnade's fierce. I 
Oh, I should have killed the knight and the jace, huh? This is good, though. If only we still had that Zerda, hum. Very frustrating uh, Ragavan hit. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about another draw seven. Am I a fan of Carpenter Brett? I am. Yeah, the fast spawn like, kind of puts it in your mind, hum. That they might be draw sevening. I got woken up by some beeping, bunny, some beeping in my house. So I was like, yeah, well, might as well go live. No, we don't have blue. I just say that the Mox Opal in their deck is like really fucking weird. Because the only way I see it getting turned on is if the Ragavan connects like six times. <laughs> like it looks like they have enough artifacts in play currently, but it's my Solemn and like four Ragavan hits. <laughs> Yeah, I think we just have air left. And add one more gas card in. Yeah, Fire Confluence not hitting walkers is a bit of a bummer here. Cells Conscripts is kinda hot. I'm not gonna bring in the Kiki Jiki. They've got like so much removal. I like Zealous Conscripts on walkers, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna just submit this. Kinda hate it. I think it's better than the average five. I don't actually know that, though. It's kinda borderline. Zerdin plus Monolith has been very successful for me. It's gotten me like three trophies. This actually might be my first Zerda Monolith deck to not trophy if I drop this match. Well, the match isn't over yet. Yeah, ideally a Banco. I mean, I don't think it mattered much last game. It was more about... them just, like, answering all my threats, hum. Having nothing left at the end. The Eldrazi getting exiled was pretty brutal. Playing underneath my own, uh, or turning off my own fucking library was a big deal, actually. If I don't do that, I'd probably draw that Inferno Titan, clean some stuff up. Yeah, the Ragged Man hitting me four times and hitting both Zerda and Inferno Titan was <laughs> quite strong. You got it, Justin. Unlimited colorless mana. And we do have a few colorless sinks in here. Like this blister in my bin. It's a bummer. Without the monolith mana, I don't like wheeling as much. I might just bitter bis bin bin a track, so we'll see what my draw is. Let's do that. Hey Primo, all is well, yeah. We started off today with a zesty trophy left over from past me. Last night I was I felt I was getting sloppy. So I didn't play out the finals. Hell yeah, Glorious Lord. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune started to look pretty medium. But, you know, they have four cards to our one. If we draw a land here, we'll see. Probably casting it. Yeah, let's play it. Does shuffle in our graveyard, so he attracts it, goes back in. Wow, there's been three lands. Could Faithless Looting. I think what I want to do is just activate Retrofitter. That's better. Hopefully I didn't give them the nuts, hum. And this hand's, like, at least we're hitting land drops and stuff, hum. Yeah, that deck was sweet, for sure. Yeah. I guess if I just sat chilled and activated Retrofitter, the March would hit the Retrofitter. They Jason. Looks like they're Jason. That's fine. We're kind of like oddly good against Jace here, I think. Yeah, you get your value. We're at five trophies. The leaders are at six. But there's only a couple of them. Yeah, 
Yeah, some fierce competition here at the top tables, hum. Could happen scuff proof, yeah. The play has been fairly deliberate. Yeah, like complex mana base and stuff. I feel like their pace of play hasn't been egregious. They've just been like deliberate, maybe like more deliberate than they can be. If we get to three game three, if they win in two games, it doesn't matter, right? One two cards though. And they do have some air in their deck too, huh? Pro bobble metamorphose. I guess they're down to three cards because the bobble's gonna draw a card here. Okay. <laughs> Can you successfully dash? Would you like to attack? You wouldn't. Okay. One less attacker on the Jace, I guess. Where they want to kill my servo. Not this time, Ragavan! Oh shit, what up? Hey, Nucleotide, it's the 22 months there. The dub dose. Been a lot of cable over the months. Here's to a good rest of the year. Yeah, cheers, Nucleotide. We could attack the Jace, but with them at 11, I think I want to attack them. I mean, this bitter crack is a smidge aggressive. Maybe it's just be activating retrofitter. Four damage seems good though, with them at 11. I feel four damage is good. I probably shouldn't have burned the bone shards. I should, probably should have held on it. I just cleared Jace this turn. And then if they save Colony to block, then I can like kill Colony post combat. Let's see if I end up getting punished for my aggression. Five minutes, fairy, okay. You think they might have time trouble this game? The dubs to fairy turn. Some aggressive prism usage. Bouncing season pyromancer again. Interesting. Today is the concert day for me. Tomorrow is also the same thing, formerly beef. I'm gonna do the same thing tomorrow where I start I do a day stream. And then um Oh shit, what up? Hey Jingleberry, this is sixty-four months. Not bidding portal. Mana short on zealous. Actually, maybe I should be leaving the three minutes fairy. One more thing, One more thing to up tank. They do have Wrath of God in their deck that we haven't seen yet this game. That's why I'm not running on Zerda. Correct, Darkly Puff. Oh, I have Wheel of Fortune this game. It is shuffled back in with the Eldrazi. That's why my library is so big compared to theirs. I was thinking about Zerda and the Zealous Conscripting the Zerda. Just have a nice, mighty attack. I Maybe mean, I should be grabbing Teferi and down taking it on itself. Well, they have less than three minutes for game three. Just cutting back on some of the leader cards, huh? Play some more efficient removal. Thinking about how we could possibly lose a game in three minutes here. Thinking about cutting the corpse dance, but I mean, we do have like Faithless Looting and shit. This is pretty deez, huh? Turn two Chandra. My name's in Taylor Swift forums. Good. The cowards. Yeah, when I was talking about uh, fighting Taylor Swift fans the other day, I mentioned how many 13-year-olds I could take. And the reason I mentioned 13-year-olds um, in regards to the Taylor Swift fandom and, uh, and fighting them is because I've, uh, I've met the adult Taylor Swift fans. And I, and I think the kids would probably be more of a challenge. So that was me being charitable. Jorbs? Jorbs is a fucking nerd with his spreadsheets and his, his, his writing. He wrote a book. You know how much of a nerd you have to be to write a book? 
coming for you, Jorb Z. <laughs> It's a good book, too. I read it. That's how, how much of a nerd I am. Join us in following Jorbs. Amazing. <laughs> you have a feeling Jorbs would not be interested in fighting me? Probably not, no. <laughs> Nor do I actually want to fight Jorbs. His book's about streaming. Yeah, his book's about streaming, the esports culture. And he's a... Uh... Even if you're not, like, deep on streaming and, and, and Twitch and stuff, like, the games that he references, like, he goes over a lot of his, like, growth. A lot of the games that he references are very relevant to the Magic community, I think. Because he talks about Magic, he talks about chess and poker and Slay the Spire. And those are all games that are pretty popular in the Magic sphere as well. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of my issue as well, Mystic Leviathan. But we don't need to go deep in the weeds there. 30 seconds, opponent. If you're going to channel Emrakul me, now's the time. Yeah, being 15 minutes behind on clocks is pretty brutal. I'm guessing that they're just, like, here for the Vintage Cube season and don't play, like, a ton of moto. And they have an unfortunately slow deck. Happens. Some people have slower internet connections, too. Sometimes Moto gets sluggish. 15 minutes is a lot. I think you might get here. <clears throat> I don't think I want to go wheeling, wheeling and dealing too soon here. If I did, then I'd want to play the Grim Monolith out. All right, now we just need a Zerda, huh? <laughs> Hard cast some Ulamog action. Oh, that's a bummer. You're not surprised they do the Fiery Confluence. You get a draw card when they do this. It's kind of cool. Interesting that they sacked the 3-4. Like, they saw the blist in my hand. Oh, they're chomping with the fairy. Sure. Oh, that's a bummer, Leo Blaze. That sounds like it was a sick game, too. A complicated game, but yeah, a sick one. But yeah, filing for reimbursement in that case is pretty important. Because then the Moto team... Learns about the, um, the air. Oh, damn! We got that Jarvis U raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, Jarvis heads. We're jamming some vintage cube here. How was Jarvis' stream? Was it dope? Was he also Cuban? Was he doing Legacy? For any of my viewers that are not familiar with Jarvis, his stream is great. I love it. Very analytical. I think he also does coaching. Good folk. 100% worth a follow. You have six two ones in Vintage Cube this season so far. That's how my day one was, Jarvis. Day one was all two and ones. I had like a scrub and a nothing but two and ones. And then day two, I kicked it into gear. I remembered how to win. Ooh. I want to kill this Lauren. I don't really want to cash in Ballista, but I guess that's what I'm doing. Got a lot of cards available to us, huh? Between Bitter, between Pyromans, or between Wheel. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, at least it's attacking Chandra, not me, huh? 
Hey, that's not bad. Points at 15. I think we have lethal. Wait, that's one short. I could bid a reunion to make to give the tokens haste from Season Pyromancer. Let's start on this. I can't discard the, the bone shards, that's right. These two, these two. Yeah, and then I bitter then I can play the mox, play the bitter reunion, sack it so the emerald tokens have haste. I think they're scooping because Chandra plus these two is twelve is fourteen total and the bitter blossom kills them. But we can we can literally lethal not even let them untap. The second Dulamog, the second Dulamog was good enough. That game was kind of the, the Library of Alexandria show, huh? Sometimes Library shows up. Sometimes it's just the card. I don't hate Elish Norn versus their, their tokens and stuff, but I don't, I don't think I boarded in. We have some white sources, and we can reanimate it and whatever, so not crazy. I think I like Bone Crusher against them. Stack Blossom Dulamog, sure, 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 sure. Profit regardless. I think this is the kind of card we want versus Bitter Blossom. Just not sure where the cut comes. Maybe Solemn. LSV plays Library, yeah. LSV doesn't see Library as a pack one, pick one. So he had an argument that it was overrated, but still a good card. And the reaction, <laughs> the reaction from the, from the cube community was to let Library lap the table a few times for a while. But it seems like people have readjusted. You used to see it go, like, really late for a few seasons. People bring it up often. People bring it up often because it had, like, an actual impact on the format. <laughs> you had library in every draft? Yeah, same. I think calling it a, a top 50 card instead of a top 10 card or whatever is not that wild of a take, buddy. Ledger Shredder making me regret my, my bin of bone shards. Awesome, I'm supposed to bin Titan there. Well, looks like I'm going to have my chance now. <laughs> I think that's pretty common FPS. Most people don't have Time Twister in, the, um, in their top 10. This game's looking rough, hum. What are my top 10 cards outside the Power 9? Uh, that's going to change because the this cube's changed so much. I can show you what my old list was. Oh, no, not the I was going to get my Ulamong. Yeah, that's fair. I think I'm getting dumpstered this game. Oh, it's not ordered. It's not ordered anymore. Yeah, you'll just have to find my Twitter. But I had Minsk and Boo and Oko. Ragavan was in the top 10. In terms of non-power. Solitude and Fury were, were both up there. Lelia's up there. Shieldred's up there. A Force Will higher than most. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> Cutting cards is so hard. Your combo decks. Hangback's nice against Liliana. Where do I put the One Ring? I've only played with and against the One Ring like once. So I don't know yet. The only card that I'm for sure is going to make the top 50 is... um. That borrows five drop, the haster. Oh god, I, I gotta go piss. Oh, Nad break's going. Nice, perfect timing. I'll be right back. Booey! I just had a hell of a battle in that bathroom. I just fought the fucking devil. I've got a fucking golden fiddle now from that. Shit was wild, literally. We can turn one the sneak, right? Three minus one is 
two plus two. Wait, no, I'm counting the one there. I mean, I can just play the sneak instead of playing the talisman. I guess that's still worth. Your wife said I was definitely pooping. Her, your wife's poop radar, her poop dar is fucking off the charts. How's my back? My back's great. My other end's a little fiery. Hey, Mike Yo Yo, thanks for the sub to Natural Order. Congrats, Natural Order. You don't want to talisman into it there, because then you're bidding the Inferno Titan. I think Inter Inferno Titan's going to be a good one to sneak in. Oh, they've got responses. They have a swords. Well, at least we got to draw a card. <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that while they had mana open. Made them tap out first, then a little mogum. Could play Basalt Monolith here. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Sea Coaster thinks the sob thinks we're sharing that prime. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. A later turn to hit more resources? Well, they're just fucking dead if we annihilate them there. They'd be at five and they'd have one land. We don't need to like max resources in that spot. There's plenty of distant chance. Yeah, right? You wait a turn, you just like don't have the sneak attack too. Alright, come on, red source off the top, hum. Come on, red source off the top. <laughs> yes! Yes! It's so easy. Uh, murder your board? The whole board? Murder it? Magic's such a great game. What a great fucking game. Is this another finals? If you're ahead, obviously you don't, but wasn't the opponent's spot. GG's, Sorbius. You were doing well, yeah. I really needed I had the, the Titan in hand for a while, but I really needed that the 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 mountain. I ripped that one. Close match for sure. I hadn't hit a mountain that turn, I think I would have had to wheel, and then it's like anybody's game, right? <laughs> Mana crypt pass. It's gifted me some life over there. Or maybe they're just going to win all their flips. Yes! How many Zerta decks is this? I think this is like number three. The other two trophied. And now this one's in the finals. The difference between this and the other leagues, though, is uh, we haven't popped off with Zerta yet. The other ones, we had a few different Zerta wins. This is a scary opener. We do have... Um... Two red red to store three artifacts. That might be my best hit here. They just need to lose six more flips. Yeah, something like that. Or we can get a sneak attack to pair with the Zulamong. Or Corpse. Uh, corpse would work too, huh? A little Corpse Steam. Everyone loves the Corpse Steam. And that's uh, Corpse Dance is, is what that refers to. Nothing weird. Don't be weird. Nothing more normal than loving the corpse D. Kind of a fierce board here, hum. Even with the Through the Breach Ulamog next turn, I think we're pretty far behind here. We'll see. Maybe if I can get Fiery Confluence like right here and blow up both Constructs in the Golos. 
Take six on the attack. Well, they didn't activate Urza's Saga. That's gotta be really bad for me, huh? They've got something better. <laughs> they got something better than activating Saga. Library is an interesting hit because I'm like below the library now. Yeah, they could have activated the Saga and still done all this, right? Then used Garrick to untap two lands instead of making a beast. It might just be dead here. Helpful. And there's something to holding it back to. And just letting them have the Garrick. Because right now I'm dead to like a removal spell or a disenchant effect. But letting them have an extra two mana from Garrick could be lethal too. Who knows? We'll see. That's seven. We just need to live. Just need to survive. Yes! Attacks, yes! Green doesn't have a lot of direct removal or direct burn. It's just Ballista. No. <laughs> what a bummer. This fucking one ring. What a goddamn bummer. Okay. Yeah, just passing here, I think. Shame we can't get the Chandra down. There is a lot of pressure on their life total, yeah. And Chandra can hit for two next turn. Once again, just need to dodge, just need to live a turn. A lot of mana, hum. Lots well, of bummer. Not even having to attack here. <laughs> just the eight mana lava spike. God damn, we had so many ways to win this game. That one ring. What a dicking. Probably a matchup for these cards. Also consider Elish Norn, could also consider Portal. I think Wheel of Fortune's coming out. Yeah, awkward turn to get fogged, huh? Awkward turn to get fogged. Yeah, Mikey, they uh they played an Ugin and, and bolted us. Because yeah, it sucks, Cy Sybil the Bunny. The reason I'm not playing it is because it sucks. Does that make it? <laughs> it's not as good as the rest of the deck is why it's in my sideboard. My whole deck is, like, very resilient to random shocks, and Kiki Jiki's just like, hey, now your shock's the best thing ever, and I do nothing otherwise. Then we're cutting Solemn to fit it in. Main reason we're bringing it in now is because, like, Mono Green doesn't have that much removal for it. God, they both fucking cost five, too. So, like, the only way that you can do this before turn to infinity is if, like, you sneak them out or, like, Basalt Monolith, untap that with Conscripts or something. Just two one ofs. This is like not a good combo, right? Like with the reanimator stuff, we have all this like looting and stuff, and it works with it. It's more than one piece. This is literally just one of each, and they both cost five. But I think Zealous Conscripts is good against them, so that's why I'm jamming it here. I'm looking forward to drawing the Kiki and having it do nothing, though. Huh? What are you talking about, Car Carlos? What are you talking about? Why would you not play a one ring? They had like two cards. <laughs> Playing the best card in modern when you're at seven seven life and uh, drawing some cards with it, definitely ghosting. Who would do that? Who would ever do that? Playing their draw spells. Another turn two, Golos. Not bad. I'm just pyromancing here, hum. How long until one ring is banned? I don't care. I don't care, Glorious Lord. I was sick of that question. Tedious. Tedious question. Next! Next question! Your homework assignment is to find a better question. It won't be very hard. 
I have 14 already. <laughs> Look at all these good questions. Why does Manicrypt like me now? I mean, doesn't like me enough. Still lost last game. You could do better, Man Manicrypt. Who owns this guy? I do. Patent pending. Oh shit, that's a win. Plus we can guess Nulamog. Should we do all that? Mona should get a loop feature. Yeah, I mean, Mona's pretty good. I mean, Mona's a lot better than it used to be. But it'd be nice here if it just, like, paid for it. If I could hold down a button that made it, like, auto-pay with my one color of mana that I have floating. <laughs> Gonna take a lot to kill with Blista. I guess if I had an artifact, then I could play Chandra and down tick on the construct there. Was Mog worth the clicks? It was! It was satisfying! Oh, we only have to get this Blista to 28. Twenty-eight mana. That's like no mana. We have nineteen minutes on the clock. We have so much time. I could go take a bathroom break right now. <laughs> Come back, plenty of time. Thirteen damage because of the one ring. Yeah, that's true. And yeah, maybe twenty-eight is even excessive. No reason not to tell him. I was almost there. Almost. It was like three more clicks. What if we were lying? Why Why would we? <laughs> it's a fucking vintage cube. Casual ass format. Thank you, opponent. They saved me 20 seconds. <laughs> Definitely a good sport move, for sure. Oh, Shieldbreaker should be in, huh? They have so much artifacting. What am I cutting for it? Hangerback? Hangerback's mana sink. Maybe it's the Corpse D. I've been on good authority that everybody loves the Corpse D, though. Maybe Solemn's better than Chain Lightning. Yeah, right, Pwn Swag. I guess everyone should be a terrible sport then. <laughs> I guess nobody's time is valuable. Ah, <sighs> uh, to be fair, five dollars. Uh, blah, blah. The reason I mentioned it being a casual format is people are much less likely to be scummy than if there are quote unquote real prizes on the line, right? Like if it's a more competitive event. Can we agree that that's a valid, a valid argument? As a streamer, I have noticed this. <laughs> One of the reasons it's a little bit less exciting to stream larger tournaments. $5 a match, Roxas. Binds ten dollars and you win like five bucks a match or something. Yeah, no turn two Golos into Urza Saga. Urza Saga would still be a great natural here, huh? You get angry messages and cube drafts in this client. Yeah, there's a reason I <laughs> prefer not to have chat up. A lot of weirdos out there. Papa G coming down. 
Natural order, sure. Ooh, a turn away from losing their ignoble tomb. Our best draw here is probably a uh, sneak attack, huh? Chandra might be good too. We need to give them that their mana crypt, huh? This is kind of a hard decision, huh? Because we can play Blist on two, and then we're like winning the race. Do we play the Talisman, then another land gets to the Inferno? I guess if we play the Talisman here, and then with our land, we can just activate Blist next turn. Take six, go to seven, hit them for six. I guess it's fine. You haven't heard a single Sum 41 song? Is that a complaint? Is that one they did with uh, with Jack Black? <laughs> About Santa Claus. I got that on a playlist somewhere. We can play it in a sec, Bondi. Come on, land. Oh, that's uh, that's pretty good too. Is Inferno Titan better? Six them with the Titan, they go to eight. I feel like it's better. I guess we lose sneak attack regardless of which we do. Yes, we'll we'll, we'll lose them on. Do. Titan was lethal, was it? Oh yeah, because the Ballista ping. Yeah, you right. This looks like this was pretty good too. Back to back trophies. Don't hate it. I've never heard of Born Without Bones. Ha <laughs> ha